Hey guys, we're back again today talking about citrulline, but this time we're not talking about citrulline for you. We're talking about citrulline for your significant other, your girlfriend, or your wife, whoever it may be. You really need to stay tuned for this one because this is a big hack. This video could literally transform your entire love life and bedroom life, and that's not an exaggeration. So stay tuned and uh, let's discuss it today. So hey guys, it's you know work kink back again. It's been a while since I've been able to record at work, but today we're going to be talking about the citrulline, the benefits of it, but this time particularly in the form of dealing with um, women's sexual health. And so to start, we need to kind of break down the basics. So first of all, today we're going to be talking about the anatomy. Many guys may or may not know this, but the penile and the vaginal anatomy is essentially the same thing. You even have literally the same exact structure. So embryologically, we all derive from women. And so all of our genitalia is the same as women in the embryo. And then as you grow and develop, you get exposed to testosterone and the androgens and you start to develop male genitalia. For example, this is an excerpt from a, a paper that I found on the genitalia that explains it. And so basically, the clitoris is more than just a pencil, eraser, protuberance anterior to the urethral opening. It also includes deeper structure that becomes engorged during sexual arousal, which provides protection from injury during intercourse as well as pleasure. So here's the interesting piece right here for those that don't know. As the male, the clitoris contains two corpora cavernosa and one corpus spongiosum in females. In females, the corpus spongiosum is split into two, forming two bodies of erection tissue in each of the labia majora. They're called the bulbs of the vestibule. The corpus cavernosa form the legs of the clitoris or the crura, which anchor the clitoris to the underlying bone and become quite firm during arousal. So Hink, what the f*** are you talking about? Why does this matter? Well, if you understand that the genitalia is essentially the same, some of the same benefits that men can get in boosting their erections, they can have similar benefit in women. And so today we're going to be talking about basically citrulline. For those that haven't seen any of my prior videos, you should go back and check those out. But basically, erection comes down to nitric oxide. Once you get sexual stimulation, your nerve endings and endothelial cells actually release the nitric oxide. And that leads to this entire pathway where you actually basically activate guanylate cyclase and can converts it to GTP to cyclic GMP, which then leads to the smooth muscles in the penis to relax, leading the tissue to engorge. And so, uh, you know, I'll put up a figure as I'm talking about it, but the important thing is that women have literally this exact same tissue in their genitalia. And so if you can maximize arousal and maximize uh, nitric oxide release in women, they can have similar benefits as far as sexual function. And so knowing all this, I did exactly that. I had this theory in my mind that if citrulline supplements can make such a big difference for, for my sexual life, uh, workouts, etc., then could they be just as potent for women? And so with my girl's consent, I said, hey, this is citrulline. This is what it does. You should try taking this. And so she took a quarter scoop of my supplement Vigor, okay, prior to, um, prior to intercourse. And like, guys, I'm trying to try this, not to get this video demonetized or whatever, but holy f like the sex that we had was unreal. I have never, I won't say never, but it's been a while since I've seen her that turned on and received that much pleasure from sex. We actually went back to back to back three times and had, she had at least three different orgasms. I mean, like I'm still kind of blown away, but still I thought, hey, maybe that was just placebo effect or she was having a good day. Let's try it again. A couple nights later, we did the same thing. Like I'm telling you, it was like the, it was such a night and day difference. It's like, I, I mean, I can't even put it to words. Like I've never seen her experience that much pleasure from sex. I wanted to see if there was actually any scientific data that showed that yes, actually, citrulline is just as effective for men as it is for women. So it turns out that there actually is published trials showing that citrulline or basically nitric oxide boosting supplements are just as effective for women as they are for men. And so this paper, the systematic review of L-arginine for the treatment of hypoactive sexual desire disorder and related conditions in women. So I'll put the link below if you want to read it yourself. But what it is, is it basically looked through all of the published literature looking at L-arginine or L-arginine based products and how it improves sexual function. There were five random Randomized controlled trials, which is literally the gold standard of medical science. And then there were two non-randomized trials. Six out of seven of those trials showed that there were improvements in the female sexual function index score. They also concluded that there were no significant side effects in the study. So in the conclusion, they said L-arginine supplements can be considered for treatment of hypoactive sexual disorder or related conditions like arousal disorder. There's even evidence in this paper that it can not only improve arousal, but it can improve orgasms, it can improve vaginal wetness, and it can improve 
of desire. So those are like, you know, major issues which typically, you know, some guys I talk to are lucky SOBs and, you know, their their girl is a freak and, you know, all about sex as much as they are. But for a lot of guys out here, myself included, you know, my significant other just, she enjoys sex, but she just isn't, I don't know, a perv like me, I guess. I don't I don't know that I'd really call myself a perv, but I, I love sex. I'd have it multiple times a day, 14 times a week if I could. But anyway, so this can help if there's, especially if there's a libido disorder, okay? There's also another story, not a libido disorder, but if there is a libido discrepancy, there we go. And so here's another study that actually looked at a combination supplement, which is once again based on L-arginine, that shows that you have improvements in sexual function across the board when you introduce a a supplement like this, like L-arginine. You know, I'm sure many of you guys, oh, especially you keyboard warriors are about to jump on the keyboard and say, well, Hank, you said citrulline, and these papers are saying arginine. Well, what's the difference? So you're you're wrong. You're an idiot. There's no way you could be a doctor. Like some guy who didn't think I knew my left hand from my right hand because sometimes the screen is mirrored in videos. F- so, guys, uh, if you haven't seen my other videos on citrulline and arginine, uh, uh, you need to you need to check it out. I mean, it's it's this isn't like up for debate. Citrulline is much more what we call bioavailable than arginine. It's a much more efficient product when you're talking about nitric oxide production. There's something that's called first pass metabolism. Go- Google it. Like, guys, I hope you guys are actually fact checking me at home and not just thinking that, you know, because I allegedly claim to be some doctor that you should listen to everything that I say. But there's this thing called first pass metabolism where up to like 70 to 80 percent of arginine actually gets destroyed by the liver and the intestines before what residual can be converted into actual um, nitric oxide boosting substances and so there's a study which i'll put up here and you can see that in this study only 30 percent of arginine was available after the breakdown whereas with uh if you used citrulline you actually increased arginine concentrations 35 percent better so for those that don't know in a nutshell basically your citrulline kind of bypasses that initial first pass metabolism kind of goes through the kidneys and then because it avoids that bi- that first pass metabolism it therefore it gets converted into arginine more efficiently and actually leads to more levels of arginine in your body okay there's also evidence that sometimes you can have more uh, GI side effects from arginine so citrulline I mean it's it's not a debate it's a superior product than arginine arginine yes it does increase nitric oxide levels but citrulline is better in my experience once again I used Vigor, you know, for those that don't know what Vigor is, it's a supplement that me and BD created. Yes, it's a supplement. Yes, that's technically, uh, I don't know, like an ad or whatever. But here's the reason why you need to pay attention. For those that haven't seen my full video breaking it down, this is why Vigor, I think, was so potent. Even, like I said, my girl took, she took a quarter of a scoop, guys, and it was a night and day difference. And so, first of all, per scoop, there's five grams of citrulline. And so it is jam packed with high concentrations of citrulline. There's also something called inositol R arginine silicate or nitrosignine. What that is, is a basically stabilized form of arginine. So yeah, I just said arginine is inefficient, but it's inefficient because it gets broken down. But when you have it in this formulation, you actually prevent that first pass metabolism and you go more directly into that arginine pathway. So you have both citrulline and a more stable form of arginine. You also have malic acid. So malic acid is primarily for working out. It helps with increased expenditure, energy expenditure and more efficient energy expenditure. So why does that matter for this in sexual you know, function. Well, guys, having sex is literally requiring energy output. So you could actually have increased sexual performance by having more increased sexual energy. Then there's something that's called vasodrive is the, is the trade name. So basically these are these tripeptides, which are derived from milk and they induce substances that lead to vasodilation, including nitric oxide. So that's another nitric oxide booster right there. And then you have something that's called agmatine sulfate. And what this is, is it helps stimulate nitric oxide synthase. So you actually, Actually, nitric oxide synthase is actually what creates the nitric oxide. And so not only do you have increased nitric oxide from a more stable form of arginine and citrulline, but you also have additional tripeptides, which help with nitric oxide production. And then the actual thing that creates nitric oxide, you are stimulating with um, the agmatine sulfate. So all of these ingredients literally make vigor. I mean, of course, I'm biased, guys, it's, but it's one of the best products on the market. Um, if you haven't seen my video on it, check it out. And not only that, but it doesn't have things like, for example, caffeine or creatine. If you're just using 
this for sexual performance, which you can, or you can use it to work out with, but if you're taking this at night, you don't want to take 300 milligrams of caffeine like are in some of these pre-workouts. And so it doesn't have other things that you might not need for this. And so it's really potent. It's available now via, uh, on Amazon or Leviathan subs, okay? So, but what are the downsides to using citrulline for your girl? You can literally have what's called the, the psychologic dependency on it. In my case, for example, you know, we had great sex before, gave my girl some citrulline, some vigor. We now we're having like this unbelievable, like unreal sex I never honestly thought was possible. And so the next time we have sex and she doesn't use citrulline, you know, and the sex isn't quite as good, there's a psychologic component. I don't know. I don't think I'm like weak minded enough to be bothered by the fact that, hey, you know, the sex might not be quite as good if she doesn't use citrulline. But, you know, also in the same vein is that she could use the citrulline and, you know, we could continue to have that, like, I, I didn't even think that that next level was possible. And so, I mean, in me, for example, I use the Vigor every, I mean, I use it really one scoop in the morning prior to workouts and then a half scoop at night. But even at night, when I take that half scoop, like it does significantly improve my erection quality. It just does. That's what it does. And so if I were to be in a position where I didn't have access to that Vigor, would I be like worried, like I'm not as hard? Yeah, maybe. Would I might not be as hard? It's possible. But like, I still have good erection quality as I did before I started using it. So just the site component is something to be aware of. There is a key thing though, guys, if you've seen my other videos, you already know what I'm about to say, but using chronic like PDE5 inhibitors or even like citrulline arginine, what it does is it actually preserves your endothelial function and it can actually recover some of the damage that happens naturally through just being alive, aging, free radical damage, all of these things. And so by taking it on a chronic basis, you actually preserve your erectile function long-term. There's been studies with even things like Viagra that chronically taking it, even micro dosing, still improves, improves erectile function from baseline even once you stop taking it. So there is merit to taking it every day, you know, if you want to or, you know, come off, whatever. But that's why I don't worry about taking it every night like I'm doing any kind of damage. And so what are the side effects? I mean, besides mind-blowing orgasms, you know, you have to be aware of things like uh, low blood pressure, headaches, lightheadedness. Usually that's at high doses. Typically speaking, women are smaller humans than men. And so, you know, my significant other is pretty petite. That's why I started with a quarter scoop. I mean, and then as she tolerates it, we could certainly increase, but like, why would I increase past a quarter scoop? I mean, or why would she increase past a quarter scoop if that's effective for us? Some of you guys like to really push the limit. I mean, some of you guys, I'm not going to go on a tangent, but anyways, take those small smallest dose possible that you need to get the desired effect, the end, okay? If you're a man or a woman, or however you choose to identify, whatever, it's all love here, okay? But just be aware that if you do take higher doses, you can have side effects. Some people even get ringing in their ears. This is a common side effect with any vasodilator because you literally have increased blood flow, and so you can have increased cerebral blood flow, which can have ringing in the ears. Usually that's corrected with a little bit of caffeine if that's a problem for you. So what are my conclusions? Citrulline-based supplements can absolutely absolutely be a game changer for male or female partners. You need to just be aware of how they work, be aware of the potential side effects, and guys, like, for the love of God, do not try to, like, spike your girl's drink or something with citrulline. Like, be upfront and let her know, hey, this is citrulline. You know, you could even print out one of these papers and be like, this is a study showing that it can improve sexual function. You should try it and let's see what happens. But just don't be shady with this stuff, guys. I know I was looking for something to help level up my significant other desire and overall sexual pleasure and hopefully increase her libido to a little bit closer to mine. And this absolutely was a difference that I was looking for. So do your own research, see if it's right for you. But guys, there's a lot of very real science showing the benefits. And so for those that need to reach me, you can go through my Patreon, Doc Hink, um, Leviathan Sups for Vigor, or it's available on Amazon Prime, two-day shipping. Still getting excellent reviews, guys. But do your own research, form your own conclusions. Peace and love. Till the next one.